on the Rebel Nine channel. Um, this video here is for the new the new gun owners, man. The people that's just getting into firearms and they want to know, you know, what's the sizes of guns? Like they want to get familiar with grips and you know different size uh, semi-automatic pistols as their first gun. Okay, so I'm gonna run through these real quick, and I'm gonna explain what the size genres are of these. All right. You know, give or take, some people might say, you know, one is something else. But generally speaking, I'm pretty much spot on. All right. So, you know, we got the smallest to the largest handguns here. And then for, for measure, I have a, 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 another pistol up here, um, the Bursa BP-9. I, I'll, I'll explain why I got that there in a moment, because this is pretty much a subcompact pistol. But there's a difference. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so let's start from left and go right. So right here, we have a kel model P32. As you can see, this is chambered in 32 auto. Okay, shoots a 32 caliber, seven rounds, seven plus one. We use seven in the magazine, one in the chamber. It's a total of eight rounds fully loaded. This is what you would call a mouse gun, okay? These are tiny pistols. Lots of mouse guns, barrels, um, they run from maybe 1.5 inches to maybe 2 inch barrels. So, you know, it, it's the barrel pretty much runs from like here to here. Like when you see, when you look at it from this angle. All right. So this is like a, I believe this is a 2 inch barrel. It's kel P32. Very light, 6 ounces, I believe. It's about 6 ounces loaded. This is one of the lightest pistols that you could currently buy that's in production. Uh, like I said, it shoots a soft caliber, which is 32. A lot of people uh, sneeze at and laugh at 32. They'd say, well, um, they wouldn't carry anything less than a 380. But I'm going to also talk about that in another video separately about this gun again, because this is one of my favorite pistols. And I, I always say this, a 32 in the pocket beats a 45 at home. And a lot of other people will share that same sentiment. Don't let people deter you when it comes to like cinephile calibers like a 32. Um, me personally, um, if I had a two a 25 caliber, I would take that. But me personally, I wouldn't go that low. So there are people that have their 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 opinion. I kind of respect it, but lots of times they go a little too far saying that 32 is weak and 32 has killed many people. I've people call 22 is weak. It's 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 a myth. It's a myth. It's a bullet. It's gonna kill you. Okay. So these are pocket guns. These are the smallest mouse guns. They call them mouse guns or pocket guns. When you go in stores, lots of times, these are sometimes the cheaper options. Not all the time. Sometimes you can be a little expensive depending on the brand. This is Caltech, which is an inexpensive brand. Um, the thing is with mouse guns, um, when you shoot them in, they, they have these, these size guns typically come in 380 or 32. Sometimes you'll find them in 25, but they don't have many new 25 caliber pistols around anymore. So most of the time you're going to find this in 32 ACP or 380 for the most part. 380 is going to run the market when it comes to these tiny little pistols. It's going to be 380. It's going to be in control. It's going to really dominate the market. Okay. The problem is, though, a lot of a lot of women, when they see guns this small, they automatically think they're so cute and tiny. They can, they're so good and easy to fire. It doesn't scare them as much, but guns this small can be very snappy for women when, um, they never, especially if they never shot a pistol, but luckily this is a 32 and in this gun, it shoots very soft, very smooth in a 380. This would be a little snappy for a female where it pinch her fingers. And like if she had a Ruger LCP or something like that, it would probably bother her fingers a little bit. Um, so you can, you know, try it out and see if you like it. I would say rent one and shoot it and see if you can handle how it feels. If you can handle the grip. Lots of times you see how small the grips are on the mouse pistols, on the pocket guns. You know, lots of times your pinky is always going to be hanging off. Uh, you can get, depending on how little your or big your fingers is, you can get a good, pretty good grip on it still as well. Okay. Uh, you can mostly get these two fingers on and that's probably about it. Then you got to sometimes to pull a magazine, you have to really, you know, uh, move your, you know, 
jimmy around your thumb a little bit but not a big deal okay so this is what you call a mouse gun the smallest of the semi-automatics you you do also have smaller pistols than this but they're not semi-autos they're like little derringers and stuff like that so we're not going to talk about those here we're just going to keep it as semi-automatic the next size up will be what you would call a subcompact pistol okay a lot of people call these compacts to me these are subcompacts um guns like the glock 26 is the same size as springfield xd subcompact I know a lot of y'all don't know what guns I'm talking about, but I'm just for the people that do understand what I mean, they get it. This is a subcompact. Lots of times, these size pistols are ideal for uh, concealed carry. Um, you, you can use them for home defense, but for the most part, these are good for concealed carry because they're small. They're they're compact. Lots of times, the barrel on subcompacts will probably be about uh, two. 2.5 to 3 inches so this is a, a bit longer than a mouse gun would be as you can see right there quite a bit bigger but just to give you an idea how small this Caltech really is this gun is small so compared to this if you used to see them in person you you would be amazed at how little this gun really is and thin but this here is a Taurus model G2C chambered in 9mm. Uh, comes standard with a, with 12 round magazines. Okay, very good for uh it's a budget pistol. Um proven to be reliable so far, for me at least. Um a lot of people praise the Taurus G2C. Um this is one of it looks like this is one of the hits that Taurus has knocked out the park very comfortable grip as you can see here you have more of a grip with your subcompact pistols for the most part so you get a much more comfortable grip as you can see lots of them they have pink uh grip uh magazine base plates that extend and kind of give your pinky a nice rest some don't come like this some uh, a lot of them do you can get extensions if your mag is flat you can get extended base plates like this one came standard on the gun on the magazine uh very comfortable guns more manageable to shoot than a, a 380 would be in that size they these guns typically come in nine millimeter 40 caliber and also even 380s they have 380s this size which would be much more comfortable to shoot out of a gun this this size than it would out of a gun that small okay and 380 if they made a 32 this size, it would be a wonder to shoot. I believe they might have some. Taurus did make a 32 this size years, many years ago. Very rare. All right. So this is a 9mm. And 9mm out of this size gun is very manageable um, for a gun this light. I was very surprised how, how soft shooting this 9mm is for it to be this small of a subcompact. And it's very light. I believe this is about... 20 ounces 18 i think 19 ounces 20 ounces i believe 21 21 ounces something somewhere around that i forgot the weight this is a good gun Tr go look at the Taurus you should see this is a um he's gonna run you about 230 240 brand new okay very good option for um budget for people on the budget you don't have to go any lower and get high points and guns like that you can get a taurus and it should get the job done. Just go test it. Make sure. That's with any gun. You test out your gun and make sure it works. Also, when you start getting up into the subcompacts, you start to see different things change on your gun. You'll start to see it'll have this thing here called an accessory rail. Where you can put uh, optics on the bottom of your gun. Lasers or flashlights, stuff like that. This is a very com this is a very popular gun for concealed carry because it's um it's the, the size of it very manageable you know good round capacity 12 rounds is more than enough uh, for concealed carry okay so this is a subcompact next size up we have what we would call a compact pistol as you can see the size difference with compact quite a bit 
So this is a true subcompact, okay? Now this is a compact Glock 19 chambered in 9mm, one of the most popular handguns in the world. This is probably the most popular Glock, right? Right before uh, the Glock 17 is probably right behind this, I believe. Okay, so now we're stepping up to compact pistols. So most of the time, compact pistols, the barrels are gonna run you probably 3.7 inches, maybe four inch barrels. Those are what I would consider compact pistols, okay? Not subcompact, compact. All right, and this Glock 19 here, standard comes with 15 round magazines and the gun is clear by the way. But this is what I currently have for home defense that will be changing soon. Stay tuned. But uh, again, a, this gun is going to be much more manageable to handle to shoot than these two guns would be because of the, the more increased weight, longer slide, which just makes it softer shooting than probably both of these it depends because i'll be honest i think the taurus g2 seats uh g2c i think this shoots very more, it shoots more soft than this glock 19 for some reason i just it just does and a lot of times when you get to guns of this size lots of times the grips are more comfortable and most of your hand is on the actual gun than on the magazine okay you see how most of my hand is touching the frame is not really on the mag as much but then when you grab the subcompact you see if i took the magazine out see my finger see the difference okay so again with the compact pistols you start you also get accessory rails and things like that and another thing you might get with the newer type style both subcompact and compact, you might start to see slide cutouts here on a lot of newer modern pistols, which will be look, the fad is now people are starting to add optics to their to their slides to compensate for not you know being able to look through their sights, so they rather look through their optic. Sometimes the optic will co-witness, meaning you can see your sights and the optics at the same time if you choose. Lots of times it's not. So this is what we call a compact. People can also conceal carry these. Um, these are great for home defense. People do conceal carry the Glock 19 and guns this size as they like the magazine capacity. Compacts typically have a bigger, they start to get into a bigger magazine capacity than uh, subcompacts and definitely than these um, mouse pocket guns, okay? Like I said, this is a 15 round magazine out of a sub out of a compact pistol and the next size up probably the biggest is what we would call full size this is a big boy this is a canic tp9 sf here this is a chambered in nine millimeter and as you can see look at the grip you see how much room and how comfortable that is there's also a lot of guns that have long grips and sub and have subcompact slides, and then you have guns that have long grips and compact slides. Those are like hybrid versions. You know, that's the new thing now. Hybrid guns. This is a straight full size pistol. Full size pistols barrels will run you probably the barrel will be four four point five inches and up, like five inch barrels, four and a half inch, four point seven inch barrels. This canic. I believe it's a 4.7 inch barrel, okay? If you put it to the Glock 19, you'll see the size difference between the two. You see that as being a true full-size pistol right there. You see that? Next to us next to a compact. And this is how a full size looks next to a subcompact. Look at that. Big difference. Hell of a difference. These are some of the softest shooting guns you'll find subcompacts i mean uh full size pistols uh in this size category the competition for this gun will be like a glock 17 uh czp 10f um uh uh oh no nah, i was gonna say walther i would say a t uh not even a taurus g3 a taurus g3 is like the size of the 19 glock there's not that many 
Well, they have some polymers. They have the SIG P226. Um, you have a lot of Jericho pistols. That's kind of full size. But, you know, I would say full size guns, man. I'm not saying that they're, they're being obsolete, but they're not. But what's running the game now is these 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 subcompacts man and i'm gonna get to that in a minute before i close the video and i'm gonna explain something to y'all so pretty much you got mouse guns or pocket pistols subcompact compact pistols full size pistols now you see i have this bursa here i'm getting to something in a minute back to subcompacts for a moment you can new shooters y'all go to stores you're gonna see a, a newer style gun that people would dub micro compact you're gonna hear that word a lot now um on this channel on a few videos i had told i had made a video called the caltech p11 is the true micro compact pistol the reason i say that is because the caltech p11's barrel is actually a bit shorter than this taurus i think it's about two point something inches this is a three inch barrel i believe and then the taurus the, the caltech was like two and a half inches I'm not near it right now. I would have got it, but I'm I'm not where the Keltec is. So, excuse me for that. I should have brought it with me downstairs. But this, the micro compacts are like a. I don't have any real other micro compacts right now. That'll soon change. But micro compacts are almost. They almost have the same. You know, profile almost as a subcompact. They might be a tad bit shorter, and they're definitely thinner. But the thing is, they have kind of a, a high, lots of times they have a higher mag capacity, but they tend to be lighter than regular subcompacts. That's what makes them ideal for concealed carry. People are starting to pick those guns for concealed carry over these kind of guns because the grip sometimes are slimmer on the micro compacts. And they hold 13 and it's lighter and then it hold sometimes more magazine capacity than a standard subcompact. All right. So those are the fad guns like the P365, the Smith & Wesson uh, um, M&P Shield Plus, Ruger Max 9. Uh, you got the you got a few other ones now. Um, Taurus GX4. All of those are called uh, dubbed micro compacts. Now, for, for measure, we have a Bursa BP9 CC. This is chambered in um, this is chambered in nine millimeter. This comes with two, two eight round magazines. Now, this is a three inch barrel. This is considered like a subcompact. You can consider this subcompact. The difference is though, as you can see, they are in this, they are the same class gun, pretty much. This, this is the difference. One is called a slim stack. See how, see how narrow that is? This is a double stack. I'll explain what I mean. Gives you the same profile as a subcompact, but much thinner. And then you have a streamlined magazine. And the Taurus has a thicker magazine, double stack. See the difference? So people like to uh, run to these pistols sometimes over sometimes these subcompacts because how thin they are. But I just got to explain it to y'all. The micro compacts is pretty much a blend between slim stack my um subcompacts and double stack subcompacts it's like it's like the slim stack and a subcompact had a baby that's what a micro compact pretty much is one other thing i left out about the canic it holds 18 rounds big guns like this definitely have bigger round capacities not all the time you have guns like the size of the glock 19 that also hold like 18 rounds a lot of people would say the Glock 19 is obsolete. They're full of shit. <laughs> Never. This has an 18, comes with 18 round magazine. See that? Big, big mag capacity. Okay, this is a big boy. Very comfortable. And I think many shooters would love to shoot this a, a canic size gun. Because these are such soft, flat shooting pistols, man. They really are. But that's pretty much um my explanation man between the different sizes of handguns so to the new shooters understand if you are looking for uh something that's 
like the same profile as as a subcompact, but it has the more mag capacity than the slim stack subcompact, then the the child that these two style guns birth would be a micro compact pistol. And you have about six, seven options for that on the market right now. So make sure y'all go to the gun store and talk to your local uh gun shop. They'll explain and break all this stuff down here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. This is your boy Rebel 9. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace out.